What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you how to fix your PS4 controller that's not connecting to your PS4 or not charging. And if you don't wanna do the whole repair, here I'll show you an alternative way to charge your PS4 controller. Then you can just plug it into right here and it'll start charging your PS4 controller. And you can charge two at a time, which is pretty cool. First thing you always wanna do um, before you get started is always try the reset. To reset your PS4 controller, if it's not connecting to your PS4, you just press on this button right here on the back. You have to get a thin tool, uh, maybe a paper clip. Press and hold for a couple seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And then that resets the controller and hopefully um, it'll connect now to your PS4. So what you wanna do then is connect it right here and it will make sure it's cleaned out. You can use this little dental floss tool. It's uh, You get it at CVS. And you can clean out any dust or debris that could be in there, or grime. Um, and then you just plug it in right here and then plug this into your PS4. And then once you plug it into your PS4, you press the PlayStation button and then hopefully it'll connect to your PS4 again. But if your PS4 controller is not charging, you probably have a bad cable, so replace the cable. And if you replace the cable and it's still not charging, then you have a broken port or a bad port, or it could be dirty. If you clean the port out, most likely it's damaged. These ports are fragile. That center uh, piece right here sometimes breaks and you'll see it slanted. That's how you know it's broken. So we're gonna be replacing that in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna do this in real time so you guys have an idea how long it takes. You're gonna need a microphillips screwdriver. If you don't have one, you get one. Um, actually, I'll leave, I'll leave a link in the video description below where to get all these items. These controllers are expensive. They're like 60 bucks. You can get a used one at GameStop for maybe uh, 45 bucks, but still, it's a pretty good amount of money. So it's always best to repair it. And uh, the parts are about like maybe five bucks. All right, so what you wanna do here is you wanna get this pry tool and you shove it in the side right here. All right, now there's a tab right here. There's a little clip you gotta pop. Just slide that up. It's kind of a pain. There you go, I just popped it. And then same thing goes for here. If you can't get this open, sometimes if you squeeze it, when you squeeze it right here, it'll free it open. So just squeeze it and it'll, I'll like I'll open up. All right, so squeeze and then slide that tool in and then pop that clip. There we go, just popped it. There we go. Just be careful, don't rip this off because there's a cable connected to it. So push these buttons in and then you can pull this out. All right, so right here, see that blue tab facing to the right side? That's the cable, and you want to grab and just slide it out. And then here's the battery, and we're going to unplug the battery so it doesn't short anything out. So just don't grab it by the cables and pull because you rip the cables out, you're screwed. And grab the um, white part, and then squeeze the white part, and then slide that out. That's the connector. So if you ever need to replace this battery, this is the model for the battery. That's the model number. See the top? So if your battery's not charging, then replace the battery. The battery should last you five years. Sometimes when you put the, take the controller apart, these springs pop out on the triggers. So see that spring right there? That goes inside the, the button, I mean, the trigger, see right here? So it's inside the trigger and then you push this in. And sometimes if you, <laughs> I guess, if you're like my son, you game rage. Um, yeah, sometimes this is one of the first things that break. So you push down, all right, that's in there. And push in, you hear that clip. And you wanna make sure that spring is under the trigger. That's, that's what makes it spring up. If the spring is on the outside, this is gonna be loose. And first thing you do is you wanna slide this part out. All right, so what I do is 
I take off the right side first and then just like that, lift it up and then put it down the same side. Like, you know, pretty much I, mean, I, I could just grab it and just put it back together. So you want to make sure you just keep it all together like that. And then this tape, it's like a foamy tape. You want to peel that up. All right. And then remove that. That's the shield, I guess, or the, this is the diffuser lens right there. And just remove that. So that's the last piece. You want to face it down that way. And then there's another tape right here. But first we're going to unscrew that. Now this is the part number right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Come on, focus. That's the part number. So you want to make sure you get that part and the model number on the controller. So this is my model number. So you look at the model number so you know what part to get. So that's my model number. Okay. So write down the model number, make sure that part is compatible because there's two different um, connector pieces. Um, one of them looks like this. There's one that is wide and it looks like that. This is the wrong one <laughs> that I ordered because I wasn't paying attention. It came with the cable though. Make sure you have, there's two versions I believe. It could be more, but as far as I know, there's two uh, different boards. So let's go ahead and remove that. And get a magnetic tool, that really helps. I got the little magnetic tray and it keeps all the tiny screw, screws together. And then let's go ahead and lift that up. All right and then peel that tape. Here's another part number on the back side if you want to see that. Um, you want to take that tape off and you're going to put it on the new board. All right, so once you have the new board, you want to cover the solder joints right here. So these solder joints look good. Look on the back side, these solder joints look good. Sometimes the solder joints break and you want to solder them. But in this case, it's the center piece that was broken. So we replace it with a um, compatible board and then place it in again. Now when you take this apart, let me show you, sometimes it gets stuck. If, it, if you can't pry this board out, what you want to do is you want to push down on this side with your finger or something and you push down and then you wiggle that out like that. Okay. So don't force anything. This is electronics. It will break. So this, I'm going to push down, cover the um, solder joints, all right, and then tape that to the controller. Next, you want to grab that screw, it's really short, and put it right here, and screw it in. There we go. So this piece goes on next. All right, and then of course this piece, put the left side in first and then the right side and then tape it down. And then this left side in first, right side goes down, right and that right here. Make sure you put it between the divider and make sure you put the battery in. Where's the battery? Now you can upgrade the battery, I'm not sure this is, uh, let me see, what battery is this? A thousand milliamp hour battery? Yeah, you can upgrade the battery if they're available and uh, get longer battery life. Or you could just go in your controller settings and dim the, the LED light and that give you a longer battery life too as well. And this right here, I'm gonna push down. And it only goes in one way. So make sure the red cable's to the right. Push down make sure these don't pop out. Sometimes they pop out and you have to push push it back in place or else the, the battery's not really connected properly. And then let's go ahead and push these cables under that hook. So it's under that hook. And then we're gonna put the cable right here, plug it in, blue side to the, out, um, to the right. If this is not plugged in properly, you'll know <laughs> the controller won't charge. Push this in all the way. Just like that. All right, next, we're gonna go ahead and put the bottom on first, like that. All right, and then push down on the buttons. 
Now my son broke it right here, so I'll probably have to order the back side of the controller or maybe just get a different um, hole casing <clears throat> and replace it later on. But he's gonna have to deal with that for now. And then push this in. Make sure it clips, you'll hear it snap together. You follow the tutorial and do what I did, and just be careful, you should be fine. And that's pretty much it. But if you unplug your power, um, your PS4 from the power source, sometimes you have to resync the controller and just use the cable, plug it into your PS4, and then press and hold the PlayStation button to connect. And then you're good to go. So guys, if this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you guys are interested in the repair kit uh, or the charging dock, check out the links in the video description below. If you know anyone that may find this video useful and helpful, they own a PS4 or they have a broken controller and they may want to try this fix, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them, help someone out. And if you want um, more how-to videos like this coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech, click on the subscribe link right here or the subscribe button down below. And if you want to check out my other PS4 fixes and tutorials, check out this playlist link right here. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.